Hi, good day folks, this is Sijish here. So this video describes more about ACL that is access control list on Hadoop distributed file system. So the ACL uh, we discuss here looks almost similar to the Unix ACL and it provides more uh, granular file or directory permission for users and groups. So we will uh, see before uh, looking into ACL part, first we will see how the normal POSIX uh, permission work in HDFS. So if you just do execute this command, so just for uh, listing the file, so HDFS DFS ls slash user. So I'm listing uh, this directory and uh, after listing, so HDFS normal list looks like uh, an ls iphan l in Unix. So whatever the things you are getting, so almost same thing. So here you can see the permission bit and uh, so this is the replication factor and uh, okay so don't compare with this with the unix lsll but i just showed the similarity between these two commands in a unix and uh, uh, hdfs command and uh, this is the permission part okay so if you just took the first part you can ignore so that will tell whether the type of the file so here this is a directory and this is the permission part and uh, this one for replication factor and uh, so that is uh, zero of or, or not available for directory and this is the owner and this is the group membership and size and the timestamp and uh, the, the directory name so this is how uh, an hdfs uh, listing looks like okay so if you see or if you take this out so this is the permission bit and how it looks like okay as i said first character you can ignore and uh, that tell the type of the file and the next you can see three three and three total nine letters will be there or combination of read write execute so the first three tells okay so who is the owner of this file or directly he will have this permission so rwx stands for read write and execute so the owner of the file or directory so who is the owner here ambari qa so he will have read write execute and the next three is a permission for group i mean whoever member of uh, the group associated with this will have rwx and the next three are uh, permission for others i mean if I'm not belongs to or if I'm not the user of, I mean owner of this file or my ID does not belongs to this group then I will be getting this permission here nothing so this is how the permission bit works so the first three I mean after first character so for owners and the next three is for the groups I mean whoever belongs to that group will have and uh, uh, for others this is a permission and here so rwx r stands for read and w write and x execute and similarly r and x means this group has a read and execute so if one user tries to access a file or if he try to do modification or anything any operation then how the permission is evaluated first the system will check so is he owner of the file I mean check first okay if I am doing some changes to this file so the system will check if am I owner of this file if it is not then okay so this permission will not be considered then it will check am I member of this group then it will if I am member of the group I will have that uh, groups uh, access then if I am not the member also then I will be getting the others permission so this is how the POSIX permission work so for uh, we can control for owner and we can set owner has this much permission and the members who are part of this group can have the permission and for others that means something kind of uh, wide open for, for others means everyone else so we can set the permission so this is how normal POSIX permission work but ACL will uh, gives uh, some more uh, granular or better approach for setting the permission okay so that we will uh, see here so uh, this is the link so if you go to the HTPCS certification uh, page so it will uh, walk you through this uh, link or if you just click that uh, ACL link it will reach here and uh, this contain uh, almost everything for ACL and the first thing you need to do is you need to set this property to true in your 
cluster so we'll see uh, how it works okay so first let me create one directory or let me switch to my user id and uh, hdfs dfs iphone mkdir okay so i'm creating a uh, uh, one directly here then hdfs dfs iphone set set f acl i mean the setting uh, file acl and uh, so I, i'm just doing so ignore this so user right so i'm setting some sort of or modifying some sort of uh, permission but if i try to do that okay so set of acl is just for setting acl and uh, this is saying okay so support is disabled but if i do get means just uh, uh, printing okay so if i use get f acl that will work but the setting of acl it's saying the dfs dot name node dot acl enable is false by default so printing this is get of acl just for just printing the acl uh, associated with this so set of acl we are just setting the acl the first thing you need to do here is just go to the ambari then hdfs configs then go to the advanced tab then uh, go to the custom uh, hdfs side config so advanced or custom core side custom hdfs side so go here and uh, use that property so that is equal to true okay so under hdfs side i am just adding hdfs dot name node dot acls enable equal to true then adding this so post to that so i need to save and in the description so i'm just set that to true right so this is just for me to understand what are the changes i made then saving it okay so once it is saved then uh, there are a lot of dependencies asked to restart just click here and to restart all required then confirm restart so wait uh, till this operation finish okay so i have uh, so it's uh, this uh, restarted properly and uh, let's try to do the same thing and uh, so the main thing is we just need to do this and after that if i do uh, get of acl i can uh, see that a permission added okay so here so normally okay so we can control uh, if we if i use a pos6 permission alone so i can uh, for this directory so i have a user i have a group and i have others right so if i want uh, exclusively okay so one option is give the uh, owner so that is the owner is uh, this one myself and uh, group is also the same id and for others so we can i can set the permission for owner group or others for others if i set a read write execute then everyone will be i just want to set execute permission or read write execute permission only for this user so i can do with the acl so iphone m we can use uh, for modifying or just adding so we will see that okay so whether i have able to okay so let me switch to test user and uh, just uh, touch test underscore abc so hdfs dfs if i put test dot abc to this directory so this directory has read write execute access for this user but for others it does not have because for others so what is the permission for others here is uh, just read and execute 
but uh, I just give this access to this user. Similarly, I can use instead of uh, user here, I can use the group and for that group I can set the permission. And here the combination, so it can be RWX or R iPhone X, R iPhone iPhone or uh, in anything. So, uh, okay, so the, the person who is doing this set of SEL should be the owner of this, uh, should have the ownership or it can be super user also. And uh, if you look here, so there are a lot of combinations available or a lot of options. So we all have to walk through that. So iPhone B will uh, remove all entries and uh, retain uh, base uh, ACL. Okay. So like, uh, see so if I go back to, sorry. So if I go back to this user, And if I print uh, this ACL for this user, and uh, I can see. So suppose if I want to set uh, for other user. Okay, so let me uh, check what other user. Okay, come back here and uh, group add A, B, C, D. Some simple group I just added. And uh, I'm just putting set of ACL. iPhone M for modify then group so what is the group name so if I just want R and execute then R then iPhone X or if I want R, R read alone then R iPhone iPhone uh, or if I want full RWX I can use right so it will uh, give uh, for this particular group so this will uh, uh, sorry, uh, this group is not uh, this one. So this is A, B, C, D. It is a group I just created. So for A, B, C, D also it will uh, give this uh, access. So now if I use uh, get of ACL for that, so I can see this uh, extra uh, added options. Okay. So this group is having read, write, execute. A, B, C, D is having read, read write, execute. Then others. So this is for others. But that is the default one then for you this user has this one and uh, if i try this hyphen b option hdfs dfs hyphen set of acl So and if I see uh, post to that, if I just execute this one, so all other uh, are gone, like for user group and others. So this is the de initially default one. So iPhone B means if it will uh, take everything that we added extra and it will keep that base uh, ACL. The base ACL is the one which created at the time of uh, file or directory creation. So the uh, iPhone K then uh, we'll uh, remove the default ACL also and uh, iPhone R if you want to recursive iPhone M which is the one we use most frequently for modifying we will just add or modify some permission so X is something like uh, we'll, we'll uh, remove okay and uh, iPhone iPhone set option also there so these are the different options so we can uh, try with these different combinations you can also try in uh, as an exercise so try with uh, this sample exercise, okay, how to modify or how to take it away. So how to uh, remove the default one, how to keep uh, everything, uh, default one and remove everything, how to remove uh, certain ACL, etc. So we mainly two commands we need to use. So get of ACL and set of ACL. So set of ACL is just for setting up and get of ACL is for printing that uh, whatever the uh, assigned ACL. Okay, so these are the options available. Uh, you can try this and find out how this works. Okay, so I hope uh, this is somewhat uh, clear to you and how ACL works. And uh, the main thing you need to do is you just need to enable ACL at the file system level by adding that parameter which I have shown you. Okay, so set uh, dfs.namenode.acl is equal to enable so that you can do from here. So in uh, HDFS, then advance go to the custom 
uh, HDFS site conf, then add this HDFS DFS. Uh, just type as here. So now we can see that because we already set dfs dot name node dot ASL enable inside the custom HDFS site, and then restart that, and we can go ahead with your commands. So pl uh, please read this uh, documentation also. It's having much more explanation, uh, like and also a lot of exercise and sample examples. So if you have any questions, so please use the command box and uh, I will try to answer your queries. Also, if you have not subscribed to this channel, so please subscribe. So I will be adding uh, more contents over time. Thank you. Bye.